Thumbelina. Once upon a time, there lived a woman who had no children. One day, a sorceress gave her a magical seed. From it grew a flower, inside of which sat a girl, just a thumb's height tall. She was named Thumbelina. One night, a huge ugly toad sneaked into the room where the girl slept. Here's a wife for my son, the toad exclaimed. It took the nutshell with the sleeping Thumbelina and hopped out the window into the garden. There a river flowed, and by the water's edge, in the mud, lived the toad and her repulsive son. The toad placed the bed with Thumbelina on a water lily leaf and hurried after her son. When the girl woke up and saw where she was, she cried bitterly. She didn't want to live with the ugly toad. Fish swimming underwater took pity on her and they nibbled the stem holding the water lily leaf. The leaf with the girl drifted along the current. A May beetle flew by. It clasped the girl around her waist and carried her to a tree. The beetle fed her and told her how lovely and pretty she was. But other May beetles flew to them. She only has two legs. It's pitiful to look at, they buzzed. Yuck, she's almost like a human. Then the May beetle placed Thumbelina on a daisy and flew away. The girl spent the entire summer in the forest, nourishing herself with flower pollen and droplets of dew. In the autumn, the field mouse took her in. Thumbelina swept the floor in the burrow and told stories. Soon a blind mole came to visit the mouse. He dug a long tunnel underground from his burrow to the door of the field mouse's home and allowed her and the girl to walk through it as much as they wanted. The mole only asked them not to be frightened of the dead bird that was there. In the middle of the tunnel lay a swallow. The poor little bird indeed died from the cold. Thumbelina bent down towards it and suddenly heard the swallow's heart still beating. Throughout the winter the girl secretly cared for the bird and nursed it back to health. And when spring arrived, the swallow bid farewell to Thumbelina and flew away. Soon enough the field mouse said, In the summer you'll have to prepare your dowry. It turned out that the mole had proposed to the girl. By the autumn Thumbelina had prepared her dowry but she really didn't want to marry the boring mole. Thumbelina stepped out to look at the sun one last time and saw the swallow. I'm flying to warm lands, said the bird. Fly with me. Thumbelina sat on the bird's back and the swallow flew about the ground. Warm lands, indeed. On the shore of a beautiful lake stood an ancient marble palace. Swallow nests were clustered under the roof. Here is my home, said the bird. You, however, choose a beautiful flower below and live in it. The swallow descended and placed the girl on one of the flowers. But here came a miracle. Inside the flower's cup sat a tiny winged person, the king of the elves. The little king was very delighted to see our little one. He had never seen such a pretty girl before. The elf took off his crown, placed it on Thumbelina's head and asked if she would be his wife. What a gentleman! The girl agreed. Suddenly elves flew out of every flower. Boys and girls so charming and delightful. They all brought gifts to Thumbelina. She liked a pair of wings the most. They attached the wings to the girl's back, and now 
she could fly from flower to flower, and the swallow sat in its nest, singing to them so beautifully, as only it could. The Rabbit Reader read for you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and dream.